Hey guys, it's Max, and welcome back to our Python tutorial. So, you may have also noticed that at the state where we were in the last tutorial, if you close the X window on the Pygame um, window that popped up, nothing would actually close. So, we're going to take care of that right now. And instead of just passing here and not doing anything, we're actually going to look at this event and see if you know, a certain condition is fulfilled. And we're going to do this through learning a new thing, which is called an if statement. And, well, I can put up here the general structure. So, if, and then we have this kind of statement slash condition. Um, if the statement slash condition, then, or usually if the statement slash condition is true, um, then we do the following here. So just, just some code. So that's the general structure, but let's just see that in action. So what we can do, for example, is we can check if, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our event. So for each of these events that are being created here, we're going to look at um, each individual event that we get. So remember when we did the four, um, the number in the range, we got the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here we're getting similar things for events, but instead of getting numbers, we're getting individual events. So we can access each event, and each event that we get from calling get the get method on this pygame.event object, each of these events actually has its own attribute called a type. And so you can just imagine this attribute as being a variable that's contained inside of this event. So this event itself has many, many properties, and one of the properties that this event has is a type. And so that's what we're accessing right now, the type of the event. Um, and again, we use this dot here to indicate that we're going inside of the event to access its property called type. So now that we have the type of the event, and the syntax may look a little bit confusing and stuff, and you're like, well, how do you know that? Well, you can never really know, so the only way that you really know what the event contains in everything is just to look at the documentation. But if you don't want to read through all the documentation, you're just getting started. Um, you can also just look at tutorials, or like we're doing here, I will tell you some of the properties that are contained inside of these things. So you can never really just guess and know. Um, you just kind of have to look it up in some way or another, and in this case I'm telling you that type is one of the properties that is contained inside of event. That's just the way that the creators of Pygame created this event object. Um, it contains a, a property called type, and so that's what we're going to be using. So what are we going to do here? We're going to check if the event type is the same as, and now we're going to look at a special event in Pygame called quit. And then we use the colon here. So let me just explain what we're doing here. We're going into the event and we're looking at the type of the event. So what kind of event is it pretty much? Is it, so you know, is it a move? Is it a no, 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 jump, you know, change color? Like all of these things. That's, that's kind of what you can imagine this as. What, what kind of event is going on? What happened? And we're looking at if the event is, well, like an exit event, or like a quit, or we want to close the window or something like that. And to check that, um, Pygame has actually created a quit method. So, yeah, so we just go in here, and, or th this quit event, rather, and it's this default event that's included in Pygame, and we're just checking if the event type that we're getting is one that's equivalent to a quit event that, in Pygame, corresponds to um, us quitting the game. So for example, us closing the window. So that's what we're checking right now. So Pygame itself, or the Pygame module, the Pygame, Pygame library, contains this um, quit object um, that you know represents a quit event. So it, it pretty much indicates um, that the event type here is quit, and that means that we want to quit the game. And so. If that is the case, if they're equal, what we're going to do is we're going to take our finished variable, and now that we know that the event type is a quit type, so that means the user wants to quit the game, we're going to say the game is done. So even though we didn't finish the game, we're going to say 
the game is done because the user wants to quit the game. So we're going to say finished is true. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to change our while loop here. And our while loop is no longer going to be fulfilled. So finished is no longer going to be equal to false. Finished is now equal to true. And so true, checking if true is equal to false gives us an overall statement of false because true is not equal to false. And so we're no longer going to execute this while loop here. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. And so if we run our module, then we see that everything is you know, still good and stuff here. Um, and then, well, my console is a little bit slow sometimes. So let me just, oh, it looks like we got this error message going on here. Oh, my bad. So we were not supposed to have open and close parentheses here. Um, let me just force quit Python right here or this. Um, there we go. All right, so my bad. The quit is not supposed to have open and close parentheses. It's just supposed to be quit without anything. So let's take that away and let's rerun that. That gave us an error. Um, and here we go. So now everything works grand. Um, everything is working. We're not getting the spinning ball of death. We also don't see any errors popping up here. Um, and if we click close, then your Python should close. For me, it's always a little bit laggy and you know, things are going on. So no matter what happens for me, I just always have to force quit it. But if your computer is just a little bit different, then everything just should close normally without you having to deal with these nuances. So that's what's going on here. So that's what we did here with this setting this finish property to true.